to do that. Can I have a Bearcat? I mean, can I buy one? <laughs> what would happen to me if I did? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by lsfund.org. We have seen that regionally, we've seen that in law enforcement. And I think that was the message I was trying to relay, albeit not very well in my initial grant application, which is why I submitted a, uh, an amendment to that to the committee. And, um, and I still feel very strongly uh, that this asset protects lives of not only my staff, but of citizens, potentially, from lethal situations. Lethal being people are likely to die. And I want the men and women of my department to go home at the end of the day where their wives and daughters and sons and mothers and fathers are there waiting for them. That's what my priority and my responsibility is. Tonight the city council will decide and that's their responsibility. So um, I don't make any apologies for the safety of my officers. And I understand some people disagree with that and I, they have a right to do that. Can I have a bear cut? I mean, can I buy one? <laughs> what would happen to me if I did? You can try, Dave. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think you're eligible. I don't know. What, what makes What makes you so special right? that you guys can have one and I'm not allowed to buy one? I put enough money into it, maybe. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> Give it a try. Yeah, I lived in Congress for five years, right? And, and uh, moved in 2005. I am not an official free state. Uh, I did not move here because of that. But uh, you, the gentleman from Hawaii, uh, that is correct. You got a good okay. memory. Well, no, I don't have a good memory, but I, I, when, when people call the police station, they, they, they brief me on who calls, and I got the message that you called earlier. Well, I, yeah, I, and I actually have a relationship with uh, my police force there, actually. It's pretty, um, a little tense, because I have a um, missing daughter issue. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And, yeah, this uh, January 10th will be a 10-year anniversary, and she was murdered. And I'm not getting my local police force to do their job to solve this. I, I pretty much have solved it, but I can't get them to do it. In fact, they, they actually I talked, uh, wrote to Chief Mayor, Yuda. how disappointed are you that the school board did not go along with your request, or your, I guess the council and the chief's request for a uh, letter of support? Actually, it's just to be clear, the question is, I never requested them to, oh, okay. to ask them to take a position one or another. What I asked them to do was return the call to the chief. Um, as a professional, I thought it was a courtesy for one professional to return the call to another. So I was whatever they chose was fine by me. So later on, it turned into a, a letter issue. It was just it was just a call that you wanted at first, and then later somebody wanted a letter. No, 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 no. That that was miss. I don't know who. I don't know where that came from. But all I wanted them was to do was return a call. They had a good, healthy public discussion, and I think they came out with the best decision for themselves. All right, thanks, Mayor. It's a fear, but it's also beyond that, Charles. It's a duty to protect. And if, if and I, I consider this a 30-year asset in that the current piece of equipment we have and we've had for nearly 10 years, the Armored uh, Peacekeeper Air Force Surplus, that's now in disrepair. Um, if we never have, if we get the Bearcat and never have to use it in the next three decades, that would have been money well spent knowing that we had it in case we needed it. How many times have you used that piece of equipment in 10 years? Well, um, I can tell you that we've been part of the team since 07, <laughs> and we've used it, um, it's been on uh, 18 call outs. 18 in six years. And do you honestly think that an officer would have died if that piece of equipment had not been brought out? on any of those calls? Well, at least um, at least offhand, at least two of them shots were fired at police. So I'm happy that they weren't. That's, that's not my question. Well, then I don't understand your question.
Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSfund.org. They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help LSfund.org. Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.